been cohesively, and you can see this, they're going to just walk into Curse Academy's base. They've been completely out-rotated. Yeah, it does look like they're waiting for the fight, though. They've squashed them against the base and the big horse, so maybe this is what they're looking for. But Inhibitor's gone down. They can just rotate over to the mid lane. Surely. Aphromoo's now found his way in amongst all of Curse Academy, but they don't want any part of this at all. Link is going to be able to take down Impactful. Chris gets ultimated up by Bunny Fufu, but Keen's going to go down. Chris now gets the old pop. That's everyone dead. The triple kill now for Link. Is he going to be able to potentially do what Double If did? But no, Double If wants some of this glory. And this is going to be the game for CLG. They make it back into the North American LCS with a three-game streak being down, two games to begin with. This is a success story they were looking for. They proved that they can come back. GG. Oh, my God. What a matchup. CLG able to turn it around and do the seemingly impossible coming back from two games down. And that last competition, uh, competition from Curse Academy, interesting, seemed to have some mid-game effectiveness, but just in the end, Link and Double Lift, too big, able to carry their team to victory. And I think this is almost better for CLG. The fact that this went to five games, the fact that they had to come back from such a deficit shows so much mental fortitude. And that is what a lot of people were criticizing them on, and they have proved 